before I turn to Chair Kramer to just mention a few issues that I think are important to the county as a whole before we get to some of the more um, parochial ones, uh, because I hope they'll be covered uh, in, your, uh, in, in your remarks here. Um, obviously, I think the top issue in our uh, county is the 495-270 uh, expansion. Um, you know, appreciate that page MTA 60 of the CTP is the is the local project that you and your predecessor negotiated with our county government uh, that was put into the CTP after some feedback last year at this meeting with your predecessor. Um, I think my questions, um, which I hope you'll cover, are, are general questions that I think are of interest to anybody in favor, opposed, or indifferent uh, to the project. I think you know my position on it. Certainly the governor's super PAC uh, knows my position on it, but I think these are important. Uh, to anybody who, who lives in the county. First is, what's the current timeline for phase one for which the record of decision was issued back in August? Um, two, does MDOT still intend to complete a value for money analysis as promised by your predecessor? Uh, three, will MDOT honor and comply with the 30-day legislative review, review process required by Section 10A203 of the State Finance and Procurement Article? Uh, and also, what is the timeline for the north of 370 component of the project, which um, basically since the start of the, of, I think, we'll, ops lanes or whatever we're calling it now, uh, has been in sort of pre nepo review. Um, on the purple line, uh, obviously it's of great interest to the people in this room and watching on our, uh, on our live stream here what the you know, current timeline looks like and how the process is going, handing things off to the new uh, construction contractor. Um, WMATA, our local metro system, it's a huge and growing component of our state transportation budget. And of course, you, Mr. Secretary, now sit on their board, so we certainly want to hear where you think the system is heading, how it's going with the restoration of the 7,000 series rail cars, and your view on WMATA's short and medium term um, budget challenges. Um, I'll also make a plea here for cooperation on the county's bus rapid transit goals. Um, as you know, the, the, the state, frankly, largely through the legislature, has made a pretty significant investment uh, on, on, on dollars, um, but State Highway Administration and others have been helpful in coordination because many of the BRT lines are on, uh, on state roads, so we appreciate your cooperation uh, on that. And I'll also note, appreciate that the Corridor Cities Transitway was not uh, yet again removed from the draft CTP. It's not funded, but at least it still survives in the draft, uh, in the draft CTP. We'd also welcome an update on the Mark Train um, Brunswick line. Um, the new CTP or the draft CTP adds, I think, a new page for Brunswick line improvements as well as Camden Penn line improvements based on some legislation from our Montgomery County colleague, uh, Delegate Solomon. So we'd be interested in hearing an update on the progress of improving capacity on, on the Brunswick line. Uh, and also just want to thank you for your continued partnership on the Georgia Avenue Montgomery Hills product, which is funded uh, in the CTP. That's of particular importance to our District 18 and District 20 um, colleagues, but has been in the queue for a really long time. So I know there's a lot of other district-specific uh, issues and questions. I have my own, but I did want to mention those things that I think are of countywide uh, importance. And with that, let me turn it over to Chair Kramer for any opening comments he has. 